Now then, let's go. Oh, oh. Is he crying? Is he crying? Behold. That Kamara was crying. Hardly. I'm not crying. My right eye dispenses coke to that soda. This man is a walking soda fountain. <laughs> going to body my name is jesse guns bang bang gang gang let's get back into this game dang and rampa 2 goodbye despair so nekomaru's a robot nekomaru's a whole robot now so i have no idea where this series is going but i'm gonna find out so before i jump on in make sure if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like for you girl on social media so i get stuff and let's begin we are hoping things would progress smoothly. That's right, a common ordinary progression would have just been fine. Like for example, the enemy's lair crumbling right after you defeat the final boss or your dead friend suddenly reappearing. It would have been just fine if things had progressed like that. That's the kind of old school progression we were hoping for. Not this unreasonable turn of events. Cause Nekomaru is a whole the name's thing now. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. Nekomaru? Is that you? Never right. No matter how you look at it, I'm still me. No matter how we look at how? it. How? This isn't you at all. Oh my. Jeez. See, you guys are a strange lot. You all have such wide eyes. <laughs> oh, perhaps you all fallen in love with this metallic body of mine. No, no, sir. No, we didn't. I already know what you want to say just by looking in your eyes. Then again, I'm a former team manager. Yeah, she's screaming. Everybody's screaming. He said, what happened? You look like you've seen a ghost or something. Hey man, don't go scaring Miss Sonya with that strange ass mask. As he raised his stammering voice, Kazuichi grabbed onto Nekamaru's head and oh, he's gonna be mad that it don't come off. Oh, will it come off and will he still be alive? His head? Let's find out. <laughs> I already know. Come on, take it off. Ow, ow, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> huh, why won't it come off? Wait, what, are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, yeah, he, that's all him. It's not just for show. It's not just for show, it's pure electricity. I've been reborn as pure electricity. So how is this possible? If you're seriously Nekomaru, that's my fault, right? You ended up getting a body like that and it's all my fault, right? Sorry, Nekomaru, I don't know how to apologize for this. Don't worry about it, a lot of stuff happens when you're alive. You serious? You're too upbeat, is this really okay? If you keep sweating the small stuff, you're gonna end up getting more gray hairs. Hey, hey. Com commenting on every little thing he does is a waste of time. But you're really Nekomaru, right? You came back for us, right? That's right, I've resurrected from the depths of hell and shining silver. <laughs> how, are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to my eye patch. How can you accept that body? It's better to just be alive. Huh? huh? It's better to just be alive, don't you agree? If I'm alive, I can still talk to you all. If I'm alive, I can still fight. So it doesn't matter what happens to my body, not one bit. Amazing. You're amazing, Nekomaru's brimming with hope. Oh geez, he's about to have a whole hope orgasm. <laughs> it's better to just be alive. I do understand what Nekomaru is saying, but no matter how we make sense of this, it's just too weird. This isn't a novel or a movie, this is reality. Can something this unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No, instead, why did this happen? Anyway, I'm glad that it's fine, right? Right? Nekomaru definitely came back to us. What's this? My, my, am I interrupting your touching reunion? And here she go. Y'all, y'all are annoying now. Y'all annoying. Why is Nekomaru a robot? Unfortunately, it was truly difficult to save Nekomaru from the jaws of death, but they don't call me the psycho pop magician for nothing. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Such a wonderful Such before a and oh. before and after. Has occurred. I wish they would tell me when this man's gonna start talking. I'm sorry, this bear is gonna start talking. It appears to be a little too dramatic. Thanks to that, I'm getting stabbed by all these envious stares. Hey, if you really are a robot, what's going on with your thought process? Is that a program too? Then what happened to the other stuff like your self-awareness and fool? How many times I have to tell you that it doesn't matter? No matter what shape or form I take, I am Nekumaru Nidai. Is he? Is he gonna power through the rest of his life with new abilities? That kind of reaction, it looks like you really are self-aware. That means this technology is insane. I've never seen or heard of anything like this before. What the commoner considers advanced is not much of an advancement. If you think advancements exist in colleges and laboratories, that's a huge misunderstanding. The real advancements exist in the place where you can pass on that talent. And you're saying that's you? Were you really that amazing? Stop admiring him. You stupid stuffed toy. Don't go screwing with people's bodies like that. 
Huh? Hell, hold on. If you harm Monokuma, you're gonna... <laughs> you intend to defy me yet again? You're quite the barbarian. Jeez, this time you will definitely fall prey to my Monokuma bazooka. But she didn't... She didn't do anything yet. She didn't do anything yet. Once again, the world shook and turned stark white as if the surrounding environment and all sound was blown away by the impact, turning everything completely white. And within the whiteness, I heard that voice oh. yet again. Uh, oh, don't tell me he's dead for real now. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay. That didn't phase me at all. Okay, I'm glad he's alive. Check it out. I'm intact. I have no injuries at all. I'm so glad. You survived the bazooka. Are you fucking serious? He took that blast that doesn't even have a single scratch. Awesome, he's seriously a real robot. Hey, can you let me disassemble you? Can you let me disassemble you and show me your inside? No, thank you. <laughs> if I get disassembled, I'll end up dying. I suppose I should fill you in. Even though he's a robot now, if Nekomaru was killed, it's still gonna count as murder, okay? Of course, of course it's possible that Nekomaru might kill someone instead. <laughs> Don't say such foolish things, that will never happen. <laughs> well, with all that in mind, you guys enjoy the killing trip together. Once again, I hope we can all get along. It's, <laughs> it's impossible. It's gonna be a while before I can mentally process this. Will Nekomaru never return to his original form? If that's the case, it is a burden for Nekomaru. Hey, hey, it's not like I came back as a monster. I'm just a robot now, you know? I'm sorry, I can't really see a difference. Uh -huh. Well, just consider this a little promotion. By making a robot one of the main characters, a genuine mystery is transformed into a sci-fi mystery. Ooh. And the hard-boiled is transformed into cyberpunk. Ooh. You're totally destroying the genres. <laughs> oh, well, who cares? As long as it's fun, it's totally fine. Okay. All right, as I listened to Monokuma's boisterous laugh, once again, I was forced to accept this island is not the day-to-day -day world I know. It's a mad world where the strange is accepted as, as normal. Causes, reasoning, circumstances, foreshadowing, these things don't apply here at all. That's what it means to live in a mad world. So, we got, is this supposed to be Disney? Is this supposed to be Disneyland? Do ultimate robots dream of clockwork? Is that Disneyland in the background? The next morning, we gather at the hotel restaurant like we always do. Man, the food today was awesome as usual. As always, you sure do eat a lot. I feel relaxed just by looking at you. I, I want them together. I ship them together. I do. This is the, this is the one couple that I do ship in this whole franchise. Like, I know people will say Kazuichi and Sonya, but I don't know if Sonya feel the same way about Kazuichi. But I feel like them two is like a mutual, mutual thing going on and they, and they fit each other it's impossible not to worry about it. no matter what this feels really strange it's not something i'll get used to easily hey, hey. anyway what are you gonna do mechamaru mechamaru <laughs> mechamaru you used to him already what am i gonna do for food do you need like oil hey, hey. regular or premium no. nah he doesn't need oil since he said he's pure electricity maybe he's battery powered or something hey. i could totally eat normal food especially rice dishes i can't keep my eyes off them <laughs> however i've been feeling a little down today so i don't have much of an appetite right. are you malfunctioning if you show me your insides i can fix you up you know no it means no <laughs> oh god what so you're here too sorry oh, i'm sorry i should know my place and not speak out of turn when everyone's gathered together like this however i just wanted to make sure i spoke to you about what happened yesterday what happened yesterday that person mccon called her beloved i can't help thinking about it and won't get it out of my head same because she didn't technically say who her beloved is so i don't know who it is and they just left us in the dark Am I just a coward for worrying about that? It crossed my mind as well, but based on how she phrased it, it was as if she was speaking to an entity that does not exist in this world. Then there's nothing to worry about. More importantly, we should be thinking about the Future Foundation, our enemy. If that fearsome organization known as World Ender is truly responsible for our imprisonment, then investigating who's behind that organization is our top priority. The Future Foundation, hmm, that word future was outside on the door. Does it have anything to do with that ancient ruin? I mean, there's no doubt that the symbol on the door to the ancient ruin was the Japanese word for future. If that's the case, it might be better if we investigate the ancient ruins again later. However, However the more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Why would an organization that's secretly plotting to end the world make us suffer like this? They went to a lot of trouble to abduct us and bring us to this island. Not only that, they took away several years worth of memories of our lives at Hosting Academy for reasons that are also unknown. Future Foundation, World Ender. <laughs> There's obviously something wrong with you if you believe in something so unrealistic. You're one to talk. But we should be most concerned about as it relates to the future 
Foundation Isn't that right? is the traitor from the Future Foundation that's hiding among us. That's true, we still have a traitor in our midst. And I don't know who it is. There's nothing that will possibly point me to who the traitor would be at this point. So I have, I'm lost. The true identity of the outsider hiding among us is in trying to ensnare us. Nagato's obviously the most suspicious though. Even a childish organization blathering about ending the world wouldn't accept someone like me. Nobody wants a worthless human like me to join their group. <laughs> you guys should know that feeling well, right? You think so? And that's the reason why you're not the traitor? I don't understand your theory at all. Uh, then who do you think is the most suspicious? It's obvious. I nominate Hajiko. So bitch, you gonna say me? After all we went, you know what, okay. Huh? Well, isn't it normal to doubt the most unlikely candidate? Not just that, you're the only one here who still doesn't know what ultimate talent you possess. If we're basing this on an outsider hiding among a group of ultimates, Hajime should be doubted right away. Then Hajime is a traitor? Of course not, what are you even saying? You shouldn't raise your voice like that. We might become even more suspicious of you, you know? Oh, bitch, you, ooh. This is obviously your fault. Stop fighting. Don't you think fighting with ourselves like this is Monokuma's trap? That might be true, but all right, I'll handle this. Just leave this matter to me. What do you mean? To eliminate this tense atmosphere, allow me to present you my new function that I discovered last night. New function? Don't tell me, is it fly? Can you fly? It's not a conventional function like that. It's far more practical and novel. Now then, let's go. Oh, oh, is he crying? Is he crying? Behold, huh? Nekomaru was crying. Hardly, I'm not crying. My right eye dispenses coke to that soda. This man is a walking soda fountain. <laughs> and my left eye dispenses Roybo's tea. So <laughs> we get to drink out of him? Okay, <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Are you kidding? What are you, a soda fountain? Damn it. I know we'll be here all day if you keep commenting on every little thing you do, but what the hell was Monokuma thinking giving you the fuck shit like that? So that guy, cool. he's definitely fooling around. Monokuma's just toying with other people's bodies. I too was modified by Monokuma, so I totally understand how Nekomaru feels. But don't be depressed, you'll get used to it. It's surprising how quickly you'll get used to it. Don't go button in our conversation all of a sudden. I'll kill you until you die from it, you stupid rat. Oh, rabbit. I <laughs> Oh, I'm adding my own words. I said rat. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're a rabbit. That's an extremely violent thing to say to someone. You're showing up like this at this time means. Did you come to tell us that you defeated another mono beast? Ta-da, you're correct. Once again, you can visit a new island, so please take this opportunity to get along with everyone. I ain't going, what a drag. Huh? Even if we go to New Island, it's not like we're gonna find a way to escape this place, right? You are right? Rather, I feel as though the opportunity to kill increases every time we go to a New Island. So it might be best if we do not go. Oh, I don't know what you're planning, Fiend, but we're not going to fall for it. That's a misunderstanding, I was just... Jeez, how annoying. Just stay back and leave the rest to your big brother. I'll give you an example of how to lure these guys to you, little sis. What are you doing? You're acting like we're allies or something. He gonna beat her up? Oh no. What? What does that say? What does that say? Delicious? I tell you to stay back. Did that just say delicious? And she's getting beat up? This Great. It's impossible to defend against it or evade it. You need to fight, girl. You need to learn how to throw a punch or something. Well, there, now that I've mopped up the annoying Special one. Okay, princess. since you guys are feeling down in the dumps, I'll make you guys so excited your, nose will, your noses will bleed. Compared to the early investigations, I prepared a special treat that's completely different than before. Mm -hmm. Treat? Nice. Oh, you took the bait? I guess it's true. If you want to get a shut-in out of their room, carrots work the best. Huh? Who the fuck cares about that? Hurry up and tell us what the treat is. <laughs> it's an amazing treat. Don't wet your pants. Well, it's okay if you do. Just don't spray it on me. I've prepared a bunch of stuff you guys might find interesting on a new island, Miracle. such as clues about the Fisher Foundation, uh -huh. huh? <laughs> Such as parts that may be useful for making a shift. Are you sure? Are you for real? News. And also your student profiles from your time at Hosty Academy, huh? So, so do your best to explore. Take care. Oh, we gotta go over there. We gotta go over there. Hey, hey. What should we do? You know, our only right. option is to go. Obviously, we might be able to go home if we have ship parts. Yep. I plan to go too. If there are clues about the Future Foundation, we need to make sure we see them. Hajime. What about you, Hajime? Of course you're going, right? If you look at your student profile, you might be able to find out what your shining talent is. <laughs> it's a chance for you to clear any suspicions, right? With suspicions, I don't think anyone here doubts what? me. Ah, I see. But if there's a clue about my talent, I want to know what it is. The reason Hosting Academy chose me, the talent I possess, 
These things matter to me. There's no way I'm not worried about it. It seems you've all prepared yourself for the worst. That means we're gonna go, right? If everyone is going, I shall accompany you as well. But there's also a possibility that Monokuma set a trap. We should be careful where he step. I can't stop thinking about that ancient ruin that might hold clues about the future foundation, but we should start exploring the new island. All right, let me check on my pet. Hold on, let's see. Cause now I got a gorilla now. So I gotta check on her ass. All right. The modern beast that was blocking this bridge has disappeared all of a sudden. I've been wondering this for a while, but how is something as pathetic as Monami able to defeat a mono beast? No, it'd just be a waste of time to think about something like that. It's useless to think about things that are a waste of time. I've learned that much during my time here. As I walked across the bridge, I started to see the scenery on the new island on the other side. Oh my is God! This an amusement park? Yes! I wanna go! I'm, okay, now I'm kind of jealous because this looks like uh, Disney World a little bit, like a little parody of Disney World, and I've never been. I've never been to Disney World. I've never been to Disneyland. So I am a little jealous, but this looks fun. It's like this whole island is one giant amusement park. It looks fun, amazing, exciting, thrilling. It just, I, no, I like it. Okay, 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 okay. What is over here? The, ooh, ooh, they got a haunted house? Ooh! <laughs> they got a haunted house, yay! There's a creepy looking building that doesn't seem like it belongs in an amusement park. Is it supposed to be a haunted house? Yes, it is! I love it. I don't really understand it, but this island certainly feels festive. Perhaps. If Hyoko and Ibuki were here, they would have definitely enjoyed this. What the hell is wrong with this island? Why is this here when they're forcing us to kill each other? This is in such a bad taste. Um, I don't know, cause I, I like it. I like it a lot. What does that say? Shit, shit, shit of me. Shit to me? <laughs> I don't know. The sign at the top of the building definitely says horror house, but it's like whatever building used to be here was converted into a haunted house or something. Oh, what, what? Ever since he took away my magic stick, Monokuma has been doing whatever he pleases. I've been reduced to the role of an unwanted child. My influence is weaker than it's ever been. Ooh, I just noticed that this says Usami house and he crossed out Usami. <laughs> so now it just says house. And not just that, look what he did to my house. This is too much. There's, if this keeps up, history will remember me as the greatest character to ever become a one-shot punchline. Hajime, you were here? You didn't notice until now? How terrible of me as you teach her to cry in front of one of my students. That haunted house over there, is that your house? I was, but Madakuma kept bullying me and ended up like this. It's supposed to be cute. My house was supposed to be cute. <laughs> you can't. I understand that you're interested, but you cannot go inside. Even teachers have a private side that their students are allowed to see. Also, you're a boy of a certain age. If you come inside, I'll make sure I leave the door open halfway. Otherwise, my mommy won't shut up about it. What am I saying? It's just a what if scenario, okay? Anyway, this is Monami's house, and it's safe to say that we're not allowed inside. So it's a waste of time to stay here any longer. I should hurry and go somewhere else. I want to go in. You can't. Like I said, you can't. I understand that you're interested, but you cannot go inside. Oh, I wanted to go inside of her house. I want to see what it is. Nezumi Castle. Let's go. This looks fun. The amusement park's castle is mouse themed. There's a lot of different things I could say about this building, but I probably shouldn't say anything at all. Uh, what? What now? I can't go here either? My advice are the only thing I can't handle. Who cares? You too? You don't like mice either? No. Well, we're siblings after all. No, not mice. I don't like them. Mouse. No, not mice. They're gonna chew through my ears. What a couple of loud mouths. I feel like my stress level just keeps rising around them. Okay, what do you, let's let's talk to you, Mechamaru. <laughs> oh, are you okay? There's a strange mechanical sound coming from your body. No, I guess it's okay. Since he's a robot, it makes sense that he makes mechanical noises now. That sound means I'm feeling emotionally charged right now. I see, your body makes noises based on your feelings, okay. Just now, I've activated a new function. A new function? Are you serious? Is it flight? Can you find me fly? Now then, prepare yourself. What? It, so what? You have a clock? A clock? Why? I'm able to sense the passage of time. I don't even need to look at clocks anymore. So you got a Are clock in trading? Meals or baths. There's no doubt this feature is useful in a variety of situations. Okay. Ooh, she comes out of your chest. What are you, a cuckoo clock? Right. 
A cuckoo clock. Don't compare me to one of those everyday clocks. This is a highly efficient radio clock. A radio clock? It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. That's right, it's a clock that would never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. I have become a time lord. Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. What? What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. That Monokuma is definitely toying people's bodies. Jesus, and what you gotta say, Darkness? Hey, I was just wondering, is a mere human going to offer his opinion to me, an overlord? Fascinating, fascinating, you fiend. I'll play your game, you rogue. Come tell me. Try to satisfy your four dark demons of destruction. That's right, those hamsters could probably pass for mice, right? So maybe you can defeat Monokuma and Monami with your hamsters. I already told you, hamsters are merely their temporary form. A fiend like you is incapable of imagining what would happen once they shed their transient guises. <laughs> the ignorance is horrendous. That's why it's only interesting to converse with humans once in a while. He gave me some roundabout excuse that makes no sense, but my guess is he doesn't want to put them in danger. Yeah, he cares about his hamsters. He don't want to do that. Oh my. This building is full of dangerous areas. I feel like I should say something about it. Wow, what a coincidence. I was just thinking the same thing. Well, no matter how fancy it is, it's got nothing on Miss Sonia's castle. After all, she's the real deal. Miss Sonia is a 100% pure princess who lives in a 100% pure castle. Don't talk so confidently about a castle you've never seen before. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There goes a Monokuma doll. Hello. I see you. Oh, look, it has like the little, okay. Ah. <laughs> this makes me want to go. Let's go. Can I go? Can I go? Is there anywhere else? Yes, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Oh, it's locked. Maybe a bunch of mice are pressed up against the other side of the door. Just thinking about it, it's too awful. No, not mice. They're going to chew through my ears. You know what? Anyway, it looks like we can't go in here. Man, all the fun stuff I can't do. All right, man, let's leave. Might as well. Can't get on no rides or anything. Sheesh. Ooh, they got an ice cream place. Look at this. Oh, they got a roller coaster. Let's go on. I love roller coasters. There's even a roller coaster here. Well, obviously, since it's an amusement park. Roar, too bad. It's still under maintenance. The ride isn't intense enough yet, so I'm in the middle of powering it up like crazy. I don't think you need to do that. It's not like anyone's going to ride this anyway. Uh -huh. Now, now, don't say that. I also prepared a prize for you. You're planning to bait us with a prize again. Anyway, please okay. enjoy the other attractions first. I'll make sure I finish the maintenance by then. For now, I should come back here after I've checked out the other areas. What am I going to do? I should think about that when the time comes. Oh, Akane, hey girl. See, this is why I like Akane. She's here at the roller coasters. I love roller coasters. Let's go, girl. So a roller coaster. Roller coasters are the only reason I go to amusement parks. There's nothing like a good thrill ride. Right. Apparently, it's still under maintenance, but I'll be in first in line to ride it as soon as it's fixed. I, we here. We here. Like. <laughs> oh, and there goes a doll riding on it. <laughs> there goes a doll riding on it. <laughs> All right. Good. I got a lot of coins. I should probably buy some gifts. <laughs> so let's leave. Okay, we got a roller coaster. What is this? Oh, that's, oh, Funhouse. Oh, I sound super excited for everything because this I love amusement parks. It's like a building out of a fairy tale minus the creepy looking train. I don't really understand this concept. What kind of attraction is this supposed to be? Is this a Monokuma doll in hiding? It's supposed to be a cute looking train, but the design totally ruins it. Oh, welcome to the fun house. Fun house? With this train I'm conducting, I shall take you all to the fun house. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. Then there's no way I'm riding that thing. You'd be, never be able to ride it anyway. You know, in order to go to the fun house, all of you guys have to ride this train. All of us? If you want to try to go to the fun house, you gotta assemble everyone here. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. This obviously smells fishy. This is clearly a trap. I've decided I'm never going to ride this thing. Oh, right. I think it's time I headed over to the roller coaster. So let's talk to you, Hodge. what you're doing. Where are we supposed to find clues about the Future Foundation and amusement park? How about you? Did you find anything? Like your school profile, maybe? He's on my ass. He's on, he is on me. He wants to know what is my talent and where am I hiding it? Okay. Oh, there goes Chiaki. I was wondering where she was. Okay. Hello. I feel like this amusement park is missing something. That's not the problem here. I mean, it's supposed to be an amusement park, but there isn't even an arcade. Right, because some arcades be right next to the little lines for the uh, for the roller coasters. 
as far as I know. So, <laughs> I agree. When you go to amusement parks with your friends, do you just ditch them to go play video games? No, that's rude. I make sure to choose competitive puzzle games or shooting games that we can all play together. Yep. <laughs> well, if I had any friends, that is. Hmm? <laughs> oh. oh, she, oh, Chiaki, I, I connect with you. I connect with Chiaki and Akane. Both of them, I love them. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave here and then let's go to the roller coaster. Hey, everybody here? Hey, wanna know something cool? According to Monokuma, we'll all get a treat if we ride that roller coaster together. I'm not riding that thing. Didn't I tell you? I get crazy car sick. Welcome. Welcome to the main attraction of this amusement park, the great ultra delicious coaster. Is it really true that we'll get a prize for riding this? Sure thing. What's the prize? Oh no, that's a surprise for after you ride this. Hey, do we really all have to ride this together? Didn't I tell you already? Are those ears for decoration? No, I'm not gonna do it. Now, now, it's gonna be fine. Your rides are sweet. Everyone who likes them always says that, but I already know that they're not fun at all. But there's a possibility that the prize is gonna be those ship parts, you know? That might be true, but might I ask, where will this ride take us? It won't take us anywhere. It's just gonna circle around and come back here. What is the meaning behind that? You fiend, have you never gone to the amusement park? I'm embarrassed to say that we do not have these in my country. I see. I've only gone to an amusement park once during my childhood. But it was an amusement park in hell filled with man eating demons. We gotta check on this man. We gotta check, make sure he's not like Satan's son or something. <laughs> huh? There are amusement parks in hell? I've never heard of such a thing. By all means, please allow me to accompany you next time. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do it, Miss Sonya. That guy has the habit of lying. The entrance fee is the blood of a virgin. I shall offer up your blood as tribute. Oh, that is a shame. It seems my blood cannot be used as entrance fee. Oh, oh so she, she already done did it. All right. <laughs> Huh? Wait, does that mean Miss Sonya? She's not as pure as he thought she was. <laughs> hey everyone, it's just gonna be a waste of time if you stand around like this. Why don't we just try riding it? Hold on, why do we have to just try riding it? Nekamaru, can I leave this to you? Leave it to me! Stop it, stop it, please let me go! Oh yeah, he's forcing him. <laughs> but despite his desperate struggling, Kazuichi got stuck into the roller coaster. All aboard the great ultra delicious coaster. With Monokuma's shout, the roller coaster took off at maximum speed. <laughs> look at, look at Kazuichi, he is dead. <laughs> he can't even sit next to Sonya. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kazuichi. I'm so sorry. What overwhelming G-force. Feels like all the screws in my body are gonna fly off. Actually, they are flying off. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, Sonia. I'm gonna die. Please. <laughs> all right, we've arrived. How was it? Wasn't that fun? So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. Hey, hey, let's go on it one more time. That's me. I'm like, let's go again. <laughs> I agree, once more. No, freaking way. Hey, more importantly, where's our treat? Oh yeah, right, here you go. The treat is a file. Huh? The symbol. Uh-oh. It's the same symbol that's on the door of the ancient ruin. So if so, this file must be a file from the future foundation. Will we be able to find out who they are if we look at this? Hey. Is it all right if I check inside? Sure thing, do whatever you like. We gathered around Nagato as he received the file and stared at him intensely as he carefully turned the pages. So what's in there? What the? <gasps> oh my gosh. It, well, I mean, I already knew that it was gonna be like the students from the first game, but I didn't think that it would have pictures of them and like what happened. Like it's showing pictures of what happened to them in there. So this is definitely taking place after that. Okay, okay. Postseek Academy ironically became the site for the killing school life. The mastermind behind the plan locked the students inside the academy and forced them to kill each other. The students who were pushed to their limit eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia, and that's how the killing began. The killings committed by those students lasted several days, but at a certain point, this curtain finally fell. A group of students united and staged a counterattack against the mastermind who paid with their life. And it's showing everybody with the sit with this. The six students who survived were able to escape the Wait. academy. Hey, hey, aren't those photos on the left? Photos of the six people who survived? 
then what does this mean? Why is he in this photo? Yeah, I know they're talking about Biakia. They're like, why is he there? I looked down at where Nagato was pointing. And there goes a much thinner Biakia, as if he was an entirely different person, but he looked exactly like someone we knew, which was Big Biakia. <laughs> the ultimate affluent progeny, Biakia Tagami. He looked exactly like him, the first victim on his island. What? This definitely looks like Biakia. Why is Biakia's photo in here? This, this what does this mean? Hey, 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 like, hey, what hey. is this killing school trip that they're talking about? Yep. It looks like the killings were involved and resembled this set of killings that happened before, and that took place inside of Hope Seek Academy. Hey, Hold on, did these fucked up killings actually happen inside the Hope Seek Academy? Yes. That's, that's not impossible. That's not possible. There's no way the teachers or the police would let that happen. However, what if the Future Foundation World Ender was the one who initiated this? What? You mean that organization was the one who took over Holstic Academy then? Of course that's not. not possible. How stupid. If Yakia were still alive, we would have been able to learn the details of this. How unfortunate. However, However we lost our memories, correct? That should have applied to Byakuya as well. Also, Byakuya never said a word about such a past actually existing. Well, he was killed before he could, so he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this? And perhaps that's what Byakuya was planning to talk to me about. Was he specifically referring to this killing school yeah. life? Anyway, as long as Byakuya is no longer with us, we have no choice but to ask Monokuma. How does the killing school life that occurred at Hosting Academy relate to this island? Hey. The only thing I can say is, all the answers are in your school memories that were taken away. Then give them back. Give those memories back to us. No, no. The Future Foundation took your memories, and I can't do anything about it in my current state. Regardless, it's unforgivable. I will never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. This isn't making sense again. How fucking annoying. Whatever, man. Just let me go back home. Where the hell are the ship parts? Oh, who knows? They should be somewhere on this island. I have searched this island once through, but I did not find ship parts anywhere. No, the fun house should still be left. Based on what I've heard, it seems we cannot access it unless we're all gathered together, correct? Ding ding, correct. That's right, the treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the fun house. Then the ship part should be there too, right? No, not just the ship parts, if he means all the treats. That also includes our hosting academy student profiles, which means a clue about my talent should be there too. It might be a trap, it might be a trap, but... I gotta go. It looks like we're already caught in a trap. Then everyone, let's go. Let's try going to the fun house. However, I see. Is that really all right? The fun house is that creepy looking building, right? But we have no other choice. I mean, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there <laughs> and learn the secret of Pajame's talent, too. Yep. Get off me, okay? Get off me. Fine. I think we should listen to Hajime and head over to the fun house as well. <laughs> looks like you guys have decided. I, I have things I to prepare, wait. so I'll be going first. I'll see you later. I'm not really on board with this idea, but if everyone says they're gonna go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. I shall Plunging yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. That's what makes it truly interesting. Then it's decided. Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from that Future Foundation file, but I was panicking. I couldn't keep still after being forced to see more mysteries that didn't make sense. I felt like I didn't even care if it was a trap. And because of that panic, I completely forgot Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. I completely forgot about that. All right, so let's go. I just need to get on this train, right? No well, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. I'm gonna believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. All right, let's go. Huh, what's gonna be in here? As soon as we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving and went inside the dim tunnel. Oh, they look Ladies so cute. And gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse. Okay. I'll guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory. Mm. Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Oh, really? Well, it's not like you have time to do that. What, is our, is our head going to cut off? What? <laughs> so now we're getting put to sleep. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft like mollusks. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness. Oh, he drugged us. He gassed us. Oh, wow. Where are we? When I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. What's up? Where is this? 
However, when I looked over at Nikomaru standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Aw, oh, man, I slept good. <laughs> Where are we? What the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me, one after another. It seemed that the others had started to wake up as well. Why was I sleeping at a place like this? Oh, well, I should go back to sleep for a little while longer. No, you don't. You seriously can't do that. I assumed that this was that gas is doing. That gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. I, and then we were brought here, huh? I see. In that case, this must be the interior of the fun house. Welcome. welcome. Welcome to Strawberry House. Strawberry House? Isn't this the fun house? Of course it's the fun house. Strawberry House is a part of the fun house. A part, you say? Now then, allow me to explain already. So, this is Strawberry House in its entirety. You're currently at the indoor park located on the third floor. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy. Now then, next is the second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up and I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like boom. The guest rooms are divided by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation of the second floor. Last but not least, the first floor of Strawberry House. On this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room that's all like boom. You can enter the final dead room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall, and when you pass through it, there's truly a strange, enormous tower standing tall with a boom boom. It's called Strawberry Tower. Please use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. So what does that mean, like the booms? This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. That's all for me. Any questions? Hey. Hell yeah, we have questions, obviously. Really? Really? What's your question? Really? To bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do this time? That's right. I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. Mm -hmm. Ah, I didn't explain it to you. This is the mode of this time. An escape game. What? What? So what? If we escape, we get to, uh live or if we don't escape one of us dies what is it the concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle like host week academy back then this fun house is a completely closed space hey, there's um, only one way to get out of this closed space building when the killing kill begins i'll let you guys out when the next killing happens let the escape game begin so now we're stuck in here until somebody dies yeah what the fuck? Yeah, I know. Damn it. We can't get out of here till the next killing happens? I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. Foolish How foolish of me. of me. How foolish of me. If only I'd erected a magic barrier, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. I let my guard down and end up falling asleep. Like, why would gas even work on a robot that's supposed to be when you make your move? Gas shouldn't pose a problem, but if they had to activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? That's right, it's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on my back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What's the point of that function? And didn't I just tell you it puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia? Hey, hey. Do you even need to sleep? In order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Jeez. Damn it, he's just not even listening. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can, such as the sad nature of robotic organisms. Yeah. At any rate, Monokuma sure stopped him with a lot of useless functions. Anyway, Mekamaru must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. Damn it. What a blunder. He must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. I'll never let that happen ever again. Hey, hey. For now, why don't we look for the exit? What? Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be in a closed space, right? It's, it'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass. What are you giving up for, dumbass? If we were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit somewhere. Amazing. An amazing, a heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with that map we got. Well, but exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Damn right. Then Akane, you come with me. Huh? Oh, that's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be? Huh? It's nothing like that, idiot. There's just something I want to talk to her about. I don't mind, whatever's fine. Yeah. Wow, when you two stand next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. Bastard. Drop it, bastard. Yeah. Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Damn right. All right, then we'll go on ahead first. With those parting words, the two of them left the Miss area. Sonia. Well, Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we also. Oh, Sonia already left for Gundam. Oh, huh? 
Oh, you got dumped. Of course Idiot, not. I did get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true. Now then, now then I think it's time for me to get going okay. too. So, Chiaki, would you like to go together? Huh? Me? Yep. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. Then take me with you too. Three people is okay, right? Uh -huh. huh? That's fine, but, <laughs> oh, I get it. Kazuichi's trying to avoid Hajime. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. What are you talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's nothing like that. What do you mean? Well, Call it a hunch, but maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor? Oh. What? I was just, I just said what Kazuichi's feeling. I mean, well, you know, the truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. Kazuichi, you didn't think that I was a traitor until Nagato said something. So you're just a sheep. You're just a follower at this point. You, you can't even make up your own mind. Because you was not thinking about that at all until this man mentioned it. And now you're like, oh, well, maybe he's a traitor. Like, come come on. Come on. What does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? Like, that matters. It's not like I know the real you. Just like how we didn't know anything about Makan. The real me? And the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the fun house, right? Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? It's not that far-fetched, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. I really do want to trust hmm. you, but I just can't yet. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagato either. But you're saying Nagato is more trustworthy than me. What the hell? Damn it. Why did this happen? Yep. If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Kazuichi? Hmm. Huh, but it's fine, Chiaki. Just go. Yep. Got it. I'll see you later. See, she, she might have wanted to come with me, but it's, it's okay. Everybody's tripping. With that, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Nagato all left together to explore the area. Huh? I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. It's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. Uh, Megamaru, not you too. I'm not the traitor. Oh, that's right, my apologies. Well then, Hajime, let's show everyone else the value in leftovers. Let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. Well, people stop trusting you. It seriously sucks. All right, let's look around then. Let's look at this freaking slide. Monokuma said that this open area is apparently an indoor park. As expected, a strawberry house, the playground equipment scattered about has a strawberry theme. Of course, I'm not a kid who'd be amused by something like this. Besides, I don't have time to play anyway. Oh, we can go down, we can go down the slide just one time. That would be cute. That would be cute. <laughs> There's a lot of different types of flowers blooming in the garden. Looks like there are some flowers, but I guess there aren't any strawberries. So there's no strawberries in a strawberry park. All right, so let's go. Oh, no matter where I look, every area is de decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might start to get sick of them. Oh. According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. Then, it looks like I don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> Just so you know, Hajime, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. <laughs> is he talking about his soda fountain? He said, let me, let me know so I can just go ahead and, go ahead and do it. <laughs> I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. <laughs> I, would, I would like to try it. I would like to try it. Because I want to see, ooh, what? There's a Monokuma, hello? Hello, can I, can I like look at you? Can I like hit you? Can I, I want to get that, there we go. Thank you, I was trying to get the damn doll. I've been found. Yes, you've been found, all right. All these strawberries, man. According to the map, there should be guest rooms in the lounge on the second floor. Oh. All right, I shall go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Got it. So, let's explore the lounge. What the hell? I am going to get easily sick of this place. I'm going to get easily sick of this place. Like, what? Okay, so that's the guest rooms. Oh, my God. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Let's go. Wait, what? Okay, wait. Is this the lounge? Okay, so these are the, oh, okay, so this is the lounge. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, hello, Sonia. So this is the lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. It's gonna be difficult to relax here. I guess for now, I should look for things I might be able to use. So what's up with y'all? This place is supposed to be a lounge, but it seems I may not be able to calm myself from relaxing here. Seriously, I thought the amusement park was in bad taste, but it's even worse. Right. I agree, Monokuma's eccentric taste would shock even an Indian. Shock an Indian? What the, what is she talking about? All right, whatever. Don't get racial, Sonia. How meaningless to think this savage tone would confuse me. I have waited for you, invading Black Dragon Champy. Exert your strength to your heart's content. I shall wait until Champy returns with his report. 
He has such skillful control over his hamsters. He might really be able to communicate with them. Um, let's look over here. Oh, wait, hold on. Who's, whose face is that? There's an old portrait hanging on the wall. Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? It seems very out of place. Also, the plaque card on this portrait. Did I say that right? I might be, might be place card, but whatever. Hosting Academy founder, Izuru Kamukura. Why would a portrait of someone as important as the founder of Hosting Academy be in a place like this? Also, this name, it's so hard to pronounce. Is that really the founder? Is that really the founder? Because the fa all right, the founder looks a little older and I thought the founder was Kyoko's dad, but okay. Ah, there's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. Will I be able to call somewhere with this? When I walk toward the telephone, I immediately notice it. What is it? Oh, so it's a toy phone. Instead of numbered buttons, there's just a single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Oh? Sounds like it's connected to somewhere, but no one's picking up. Let me tell what a mysterious this. device that may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like any other regular telephone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone, and I didn't even know where it was connecting this to. Too. Jeez, what's going on? My four dark devils of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing of note to report. Listen. Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor we still have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's still too soon to give up. Good. I leave this matter to your discretion. All right. I should try exploring the first floor. I haven't seen it yet. So, but I want to look at everything else though. What about this clock? Thanks to the wall clock, I know what time it is, but knowing the time isn't going to help things. I mean, it might be a clue or something. I don't know. Okay. So let's, all right. And no, there's no Monokuma doll in here. So let me leave this area. Um, Nekamaru said that he was going to check this. Why are you standing around here? Why aren't you going to check out the guest huh? rooms? Well, it seems that the standard room over there is already occupied. Occupied? Then... I should go explore another place first. Huh, so who's in here? I can hear voices inside. Sounds like someone's in there. Oh, what y'all talking about? Hey, hey. Hey, what do you want to talk about? No. Well, you know, I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. And I already know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, <laughs> but when I look at you, I have to just say something. What? Oh, then spit hey. it out. You don't need to act so stubborn, you know, because I know what you're going through. Huh? Huh? So. The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Like, hey, what are you talking about? So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling yeah. too. Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? So. But like he said, it's better to just be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now, but you're much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me... Aw, Peckle's gone, so he can't even he can't even have her. Sorry. Aw, it's okay, Fuyuhiko. It's okay, baby face. Huh? Oh, are you crying? I... Right now, I feel very grateful to her, but I can't tell her that anymore. So... But you're different, so make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait, so what are you trying to say again? I quietly left the guest room so he wouldn't notice me. No, I want to go back to some Monokuma doll. Fuyuhiko took the time to talk to her, but it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. Can I go back, though? Can I go back in there? Oh, okay. They don't, they don't want me to go back. They don't want me to go back, so it's okay. Can I go in these rooms? Oh, I actually can. I can go in these rooms. Okay. So this is the deluxe room. Oh. Okay. This room got candy, got a rainbow, got, like, everything. Strawberry bed got something right there. Oh, that's a fireplace. Oh, y'all got some. Y'all hooked it up. Okay. Jeez. However, I never expected we lose three people during my absence. Yeah. Mm. Kyoko and Ibuki. Those two were quite the noisy bunch. It's as if a fire was smothered, and I cannot believe Mikan was the one who murdered them. That's why, no matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy that you came back to us. Then I must live up to everyone's expectations. As long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims. I won't allow it. I do know that one Monokuma doll is in the other room, though. So I'll come back to that. Oh. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This sucks. Oh. Uh, okay. Look, the, look, the TV got, like, it's all broken. Look at, look. Okay. All right, so let's leave this room. There's nothing in there. Oh, so there's two crummy rooms. Okay, I thought that, I thought that I was in the wrong room. Okay. All right, I think that I looked at everything over here, I think. I went to that deluxe room, but I did not go to this deluxe room. Okay, so this one is exactly like the other one as well. But is there a monokuma doll in here? 
No. Okay, so there's nothing else in here, so let's leave. All right, so let's go down to the stairs. Okay, what's going on over here? There wasn't anything terribly important on the third or second floor, but that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Okay, hey, Nakamaru, so what is this? This building is peculiar. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a peaceful shit like this. Preventing me from taking a good shit. This house is certainly defective. Okay, well, are you going to allow me to go to the bathroom? Let me see, can I go, can I, uh, well, he's blocking the girl's bathroom, so I can't go there. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. When I'm in the world, when in the world is my constipation going to be fixed? Okay, so he's constipated, so that, all right, he's constipated. Oh, I don't like this room. Oh, no, final what? Final dead room. Oh, oh, no. Okay, so there goes the strawberry hall. Oh, God, okay. Hey, Chiaki. What happened? Did she get tired again? No, I was just thinking, why strawberry? Why is that? Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too. Or even fruits like peaches and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Okay. Then why strawberry? Who knows? Such a mystery. Yeah. What was this conversation just now? So, all right. I, I don't know, I don't know. What, is there anything you wanna say to me? No, nothing. The possibility isn't zero. I do think that it's extremely close to zero, but it's never gonna be zero no matter what. Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. What are you talking about? Okay, whatever. He still doesn't trust me. All right, what you doing over here in the corner? <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. Like I'm terribly you. sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. All right, so let's let's look around. Let's look at the final dead. I don't know if I'm gonna go in the final dead room yet. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I feel like I might die. Oh, that has the same thing as the phone. This isn't an elevator? But that's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and third floor. Does this mean there's a basement? When there's a button next to the door. A grape image is the same as the button on the lounge telephone. What would happen if I press this? And so, without really thinking about it, I tried pressing that button, but it's not reacting at all. Is that out of order? I don't really get it, but it looks like this elevator isn't usable. Or maybe we gotta press the button in the other room to make this activate. So who knows? This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. Allow me Allow to explain. Okay, well then go ahead. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Life-threatening game? What the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell is going to do that? What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? That final dead room sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. It's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Now then, the other should be at Strawberry Tower at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Let's get going already. All right, well, let's go. They said enough looking around. Let's, let's get to it. Okay, so, oh, this, this will make somebody sick. This will make somebody sick if they stay in here too long. According to the map, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door. There's no doorknob? There's no way we can open the door like this. Maybe you just have to press the button that's next to the door. You know, the one that has open written on it. I wonder what that means. It's funny, it's spelled just like the word open. Uh, wait, seriously? Anyway, I just have to press the button then. Nekamara raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Oh. Oh. And there's a grape door. So this is Strawberry Tower, huh? The building is shaped like a huge circle, plus the ceiling is so high, I can't really make it out. Jeez, more of these bright red decorations. What terrible what? taste. Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right, this is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why? Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? What is that? What is... Okay, so let's, let's look at this. There's a picture on the floor, it's Usami's face. She has a strawberry in her mouth, even this is strawberry themed, huh? Well, at least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. But what, so what is the walls? Along the tower floor, there appear to be many lights built into the floor, illum illuminating the wall. The lights are all red, I see, because of the lights, the walls and interior design of the tower look red. And with the lights, they're able to create the designs on the wall. However, because these lights are shining on the walls, the ceiling is pretty dark and I can't really see it, huh? So let's look at this pillar. 
On both sides of the door, in the far back, stand two huge pillars. Perhaps, without thinking, I turned around and checked behind me. Just as I thought, there are pillars or gateposts on both sides of the door Nekamaru and I entered the room from. It appears they're standing face to face with the other pair. Huh, okay. There's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was a strawberry tower, but they, this image, doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone and also the one we found near the first floor elevator? Perhaps this door might be the exit, huh? Take a look at the map we received from Onokuma. There's a door at the far back of the strawberry tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of the door? Therefore, you must try to confirm it by opening this door. Nikamaru let out a battle cry, grabbed the doorknob tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry the door open. However, to no avail. What does this mean? The doorknob won't budge, not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, shit, it appears to be locked tight. In that case, I shall use my full power. With a fierce roar, Nekamaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands, but still didn't open. Not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower. I don't think it's going to work. Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. That would be bad. So shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? You have a point. Very well, then. Even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Then let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Because they all think that I'm a freaking, um, traitor. Huh? Is it me or does this just seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Oh, Lord. Did it open? Maybe? What happened over here? Oh, Lord. What? Yo, how are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's inside? Huh? Strawberry House's inside? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there's other buildings. Of course. Of course. That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator. Contact elevator, you say. Hey. Even hey. though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right, to Grape House. Uh -huh. Grape House? Hey. The front um, house is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. Well, we can worry about the details when we get to the Grape House. I'll go on ahead. I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? And that we must ride that elevator, right? Are we screwed? What should we do? We just have to go for it. The only way we can overcome the situation is to make a move. I mean... But still, you know. <laughs> what, you scared? Of course not. Well, hell no. Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonia? Fine, I'll fucking go. I'm not scared at all. Well, I don't have it as bad as Kazuichi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand here and do nothing. All right, let's go. When I pressed the great button next to the door, it immediately opened. All right. We stepped onto the elevator and we went off to Grape House. And look, look at the inside. Is this already hmm. moving? If so, that'd be How awesome. So? How so? I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open the door and make sure. You cannot, that is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. And now we got grapes everywhere. So this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome. Okay, welcome to Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. So we got a map for here too. All right, all right. This is Grape House in its entirety. So let's start explaining the first floor. So aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like how there's a strawberry hall over there, there's a grape hall on this side. And when you go through Grape Hall, that means there's a great tower. The second floor of Grape House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House. I prepared five guest rooms of different types along with the relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor, the Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explain with words. So you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. That's all for me. Any questions? Like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food, anyway? Huh? Is that necessary? What are you saying? Of course it is! But it's supposed to be an escape game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? So, I decided to use your stomachs as a time limit. What do you mean? Well, simply put, it means kill someone before you start to Yo. If I was in this game... I might have thought, okay? If he, if I cannot eat, if I cannot eat, I might have thoughts of all 
fucking somebody in this room, okay? And I, I'm sorry, but somebody gotta go, because I gotta eat, all right? So I'm terribly sorry. And I don't know if Akane is gonna feel the same way, because she likes to eat too. So this might be a problem. What the heck? If you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey, hold on. Star. Damn it, how much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Was he serious about there being no food? No way, that's the one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already. As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. But at least try to stay calm. That's not the time for you to panic. Well, being loud here isn't gonna help us. So for now, we should explore the inside of this building too. Right. After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fihiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. right. Then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, hey, right? Hey. Hold on, this time around, I really wanna pair up with Miss Sonya. Like... She already left with Gundam. <laughs> oh God, looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Oh, Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. Akane, you too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grape then. House. Now then, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. Hmm, so you're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place. All right, then let's start with Grape Tower. Let's start with Grape Tower. Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it, there's no way I'm going to get myself, let myself starve in, to death in here. Good gracious, what is, is this Sakura? Hold on, let's get around. Oh, oh no, they did not. No, they did not just call her Ogre. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay, so who used to call her Ogre? Who used to call her Ogre? Somebody did. Okay, Weed Man. Weed Man called her Ogre all the time. I wonder if he has something to do with this. I wonder if he has something to do with this. Wait, what is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament, but it doesn't fit the ambiance at all. There's a name written on here. Ogre? Does that mean it's a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? Because she's not an ogre. Her name is Sakura, and she is a fighter. Respect her name. Sheesh. Goodness gracious. Akane. Look at this statue. I'm starting to feel a little excited. But why is there a statue like that in a place like this? Wait, is this creature inside this building? I don't think so. This is probably in the hall just to garnish huh? it. Garnish? You mean like a food garnish? Is this food? Is it tasty? It's not food, it's just a decoration. Oh man, Sakura. Starving that seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. That piece of shit, how dare he pull such a dirty trick on civilian. I'm, I'm ready to eat too, you know, but can't. All right, what's on the back of this? Nothing? Okay, there's nothing here. There's the bathrooms, can I go in here? Yeah. This one is a bathroom here as well. Regardless, I still cannot shit. That's the only downside to this body. The only downside, the optimism is praiseworthy. All right, uh, can I look at the time? It's a wall clock. Since there are no windows or Monokuma announcements, I have to rely on the clocks to know what time it is. Oh, so we have to, we have to rely on that. Okay, cool. Grape house, huh? This place has a terrible taste as well. Huh, so let's go through here. Let's go to Great Tower. Great Tower's beyond this door, right? Just like a strawberry hall, only need to press this button. Show some spirit. All right, leave it to me. Nekamara raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. It's not opening. That's weird, when we were at Strawberry Hall, this should've opened. Don't tell me this is out of order. Fine, time for it to break down. Well, it obviously wouldn't. Oh, did you hear something? And that's when Nekamara started shouting. And there's the room to Strawberry. The door opened, but what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? So this is Grape Tower. Hmm, the structure of this building doesn't seem at all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Well, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. The door, maybe, because it says strawberry. On the Grape Tower door on the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. A strawberry door inside the Grape Tower that sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of Strawberry Tower. So on the strawberry side is a grape door, and on the grape side, a strawberry door. It's even more complicated. <laughs> However, this time, this door might connect to the outside. Ah, oh, it's obviously by looking at this map, since there's nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House. Hmm. If so, the only thing we can do is try it. Hold it. 
I heard what you guys are discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try it. Who are you? What did you say? Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagato and Kazuichi? Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. <laughs> so you ran away. Okay, so she got away from them. Well? Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. <laughs> Definitely, you say. It's rare for Chiaki to be that yep. certain. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the Funhouse's structure. The secret of structure? Want me to tell you? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. Okay. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up to Strawberry Tower, right? See? On the other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, Grape Hall is on your right-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Mm -hmm. Now, here comes the main point. With those two buildings, Whoa. so you were here all along. Hey, hey. hey, Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. Hey. You, were dis you disappeared so suddenly. I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagato. Mm. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagato. Yeah. Huh, was that annoying for you? Right. Hell yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. I see. So it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey. hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting each other, humans? Shut up. Shut well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Okay, so everybody's here now. Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. That was quick. I thought your investigations would take more time. Oh, yeah. There aren't many areas to search. We didn't find any good clues. Right now, the only thing I found out is there's seriously no food this anywhere. All. This ain't funny at all. I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around always oh, better serve them up. <laughs> you an imbecile? What are you implying? Oh. I'm sorry. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonia. If you've gotten your hands on my four dark devils of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Okay. But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? Fortunately, the flowers blooming in, flower in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark devils of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I am relieved to hear that. Now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but oh well, I should listen to what everyone else has to now say. Then. Is it fine if Gundam, Fu, Hiko, and I present our teams and get the reports? Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are all slightly. So let's just talk to everybody. Let's talk to you. Now then. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am, no which means it's not that important at hey, all. Bastard. Just hurry up and say it already. Um, well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. Hmm. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Oh. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. Hmm. Then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there, ever. Actually. Oh, also, I've also found a lost child at the Monokuma archive. A lost child? Huh? Where did she go? Hey, don't just hide. Come on out. I knew it was going to be her. So the lost child was you. Right. That's how people act, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you would all react. It's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. Hey, how sad. It's so sad to get used to it. She seems a little tense. Did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monami? Well, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. But I'm honestly happy that you're here. Huh? Hey, are you completely, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabid me? No. I'm expect to be food? Yeah, she gonna eat your ass. <laughs> All right, Sonia. All right. Our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. Hurry up and ask Gundam about it. What does Sonya think these reports are supposed to be about? Okay, so let's ask Gundam. <laughs> now then, I should present to you my discovery. I won't let you say such nonsense like I forgot Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the fun house. Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi, you and you lonely humans. Yeah. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> oh, behold, a motor. It's a ship part. Based on its extremely small size, isn't that... That's just a radio-controlled toy. 
allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever bought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up. I'm not asking about that. You mean the ship part you found was just some radio-controlled toy? You totally got tricked. I never said a single word about the ship being real. Stupid, idiot, moron. Oh man, he gonna go crazy. Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. So what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. All right. Huh? Chiaki, when I realized she suddenly disappeared, I couldn't believe she went to all of you of all people. And now everyone's gathered here all of a sudden. What's going on? You better not say I learned everyone here. Uh. Well, it's not like that, but you look like you already knew this place was important, so you were totally cased in this area. So once again, someone is suspicious of me. Anything I do will look suspicious to them, huh? What should I do? God, I can't even walk. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but everyone's reports are more important too. Oh, okay, so let's talk to them. Oh, she want to eat that bunny. <laughs> Akane, I don't think Monami is edible. Yeah. How do you know? We won't know unless we try. No, I definitely don't want it to end this way. <laughs> All right, for you, Hiko. Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House also has guest rooms similar to the ones on the second floor of Strawberry House. Huh. Hm. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, also, like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in the lounge too. However, instead of the grape button that was on the phone in the Strawberry House's lounge, there's a strawberry button on the phone in the Grape House's lounge. Huh. Now, then. now, I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the button shows where each phone goes, connects to. The picture on the button shows where each phone connects to. That's probably it. Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? The structure of the funhouse? Well? well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently and the strawberry tower we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. The two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their position. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left. Okay, yes, got it, got it. We already went through this. We already went through this. The two towers are the same building and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at the door. Isn't that strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and telephone? Then in the same way, wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, it would mean that the strawberry house is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. Okay, I feel like we are like repeating a lot of the same obvious information like i gathered that they were connected when i saw the grape and then we went to the grape and saw the strawberry i think that that is not hard and everybody's just repeating it over and over like we got it as well as the opposite the grape door that was at the strawberry tower leads the grape house meaning we opened the grape hall's door when we came in here so... meaning depending on which door we use this tower changes to either strawberry tower or grape tower which means when you look at the other side of the grape hall door that we used to come in here yep yep the grape picture should actually be on here then all we got to do is confirm it right if we can close that door from the other mm -hmm. side that might be impossible impossible why well hajime and nikamara were the first ones to enter grape tower right What's wrong with that? Uh -huh. When you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? See? So, just as I assumed. How'd you know? Uh -huh. When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Uh -huh. The door automatically closed. Uh -huh. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Uh -huh. But why? The doors to Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed so that only one can open at a time. I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Then the reason the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you, so was it because is... we opened the Grape Hall door? When that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because it was waiting for Strawberry Hall's door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? There's no way they're the same building. You, don't know. you didn't notice? They're just light from the floor being shined on the wall. But by reflecting a colored light onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Wait. Then what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Mm -hmm. 
Maybe the floor is just a screen and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. Oh, I see. Then it's safe to say they're the same building, right? But this is a very important problem, so isn't it better if we test it out? Test? For example, we should leave something behind here and we'll all go to Strawberry Tower. And if it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Want me to stay then? No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Sensors? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. Why can't you notice them? Maybe because we're not walking mechas like you. Like, uh, like we're not. I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. My guess is that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there would at least be something like that. By the way, how good is that sensor performance? It's quite high performance. It seems that it could even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Then it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey. What about Nekamaro? He's a heartless robot. I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? Jeez. Like you said, if I cease all functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it. But do you need to go that far to test it? I don't tolerate any robo prejudice. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. And once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again, or if my chest alarm goes off. I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. Is it far too da- It is far too dangerous, even as an experiment. It is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll leave this handbook here and we'll all move over to Strawberry Tower. And if by chance the handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? You're right. Let's try this. We left behind Chiaki's e-handbook right away. Then we left Grave Tower, made our way to Strawberry Tower. So, will it still be there? See, I must I say, see. this elevator is rather quiet. It is like the Toad's Wart. Oh, wait, never okay. mind. Toad's Wart? What you talking about? It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems it's moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly uh. close. If two towers are connected in the middle, the distance between them shouldn't be that much. All right, let's head over to Strawberry Tower. If you press the button next to this door, you should be able to enter Strawberry Tower. Then I'll press it. Wait, step aside, you fiends. What? A messery of evil. In accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Pierce through, Supernova, Silver Fox, Sandy. All right, the little hamster is so cute. I right, press the button. Surely this is the Skyline Lamentation art of the Demon Mouse. Soon the door of destiny shall open. Wow, amazing, your hamsters are truly skilled. I see your eyes managed to follow Sandy's movements as expected of the Dark Lady, you have my praise. Amazing, truly amazing. You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. Oh, look at him. You didn't need to bother making your hamster press it. Just as I thought, it's taken a while to open. Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower, then wait for the other door to close. At that moment, I heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. Oh, and it's still there. It is still there, so it is the same building. The moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonya raised her voice. When I looked where she was pointing, it's there, the handbook. Yep, there's no doubt, this is my student handbook. If the handbook Chiaki left in Grape Tower is here, then that means it seems that we've confirmed it. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower, excuse me. And then that door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears that it's connected to Grape's Hall. Grape houses Grape Hall. This is trouble. But it also means we have no idea where the exit is. Well, I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you already uncovered a secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally, all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you really pulled through for us. However, yeah, that was shade. However, why was this building designed so strangely? So There's evil. probably no reason. It's simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokuma needs. Who are you again? What? I'm Monami. Why did you forget about me? That reminds me, whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh huh? Is it that time already? Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Allow me to answer. Every single day up until now, I've been consistently letting you know when it's morning and night on this island. And thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. Did you guys mistake me for some kind of pretty alarm clock? 
Well, it's totally true that I'm pretty, but <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can't go outside and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. Also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. Which is what? I don't like this. What's wrong with him? Well, if there's no announcements, we can't just look at the clock. Um. Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first floor lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. And it's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Mm. Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. Hey. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Room assignments? Uh. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Mm. Why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes, yes let's do that. Man. That's a bummer, but what I guess it makes sense. Then ladies first. Well, then now then, kittens, choose which house you would like. Let's just choose Grape House. Staring at a red room is going to strain my eyes. Oh. Then the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Also, each house had guest rooms of varying quality, right? Damn right? Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For now. And we need to decide those next, huh? But there are only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. Sure. Then that means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? Rock, paper, scissors, of course. Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun, and the result? <laughs> Sorry, I ended up winning so easily. That's right, I totally forgot that Nagato was the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> so I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. Huh? It's decided. You two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner, <laughs> it's me. I'll be resting in the standard Damn room. Right. Me and Kazuichi are next. Man. So I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Hey, hey, how about you Grape House girls? Did you all pick your rooms yep. as well? Yeah, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. Sonya and I will have the deluxe room, and apparently Kane wants one of the crummy rooms. Why did you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left like over. That. It's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a palace compared to my home. I feel sad every time we come back to Kane. She has had such a rough childhood, and I feel like we're just glossing over that. So there's a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Hajime, if you would like, please use one of them. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. You can't do that. Oh, Why not? Well, I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know? Uh, what are you saying? Sonia? What am I? Oh, oh. So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Even I don't think he tried to trick us. <laughs> it seems that you're the only one who thought Hajime is suspicious. Hey. Really? Of all people, you're going to say that? You're really going to say that? Hajime, can, you can use one of our leftover rooms. Thank you. I'll feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. But even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Oh. Now then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Oh, it, like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and so, all the guys except for me ended up staying the night on the second floor of Strawberry House, and all the girls plus my leftover self stayed on the second floor of Grape House. Oh, geez, just as I thought, I was forgotten. Well, I'm used to it after all. Aw, oh, girl, you don't get no room. This ain't about you. So this is the second floor of Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House is definitely a good decision. What do you mean? Um, you see, Strawberry House is a quadrilateral, but Grape House is hexagonal. <laughs> that means this place is far more spacious. It is quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure do know about petty stuff. <laughs> And so sleepy. The deluxe rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? Yeah. The two rooms at the front are the crappy rooms, right? Hajime, you use the room next to the lounge. Then. So the standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccupied. I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's face. You don't really need to draw our faces, but the nameplates might be a good idea. Okay. Then good night. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to the, her deluxe good room. Day. Now then, I should retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> good night, see you tomorrow. After exchanging good nights, everyone went to their guest rooms. I should get some sleep too. I think I was assigned the crummy room that's next to the lounge. So, what? why does this say keep out? Why, why does that say keep out? Why can't I go over there? All right, whatever. So the one that's next to the lounge. So the lounge is there, so let me go here. All right, here's my crap hole of a place. <laughs> This is a surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. But I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. No matter what happens, I will definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. It's morning already. Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel like my usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over there and see what time it is. 
All right, oh, okay, so now we have the little nameplate. So nobody's there. Okay, cool. All right, that's cool. Can I, can I check this room? Nope, I can't. All right, so let's move. Let's see, the time is 9 a.m. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do now? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to, or it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. Oh, okay. So now it's free time. So let's look around. Okay, let's look around here. They got like a little shower. Okay, I don't see nothing over there. Alrighty. So nothing in this room, so let's leave. Hmm, let's go to the Monokuma Archive. Let's see what's in there. Because I haven't been in there yet. So this is the Monokuma Archive that Nagasa was telling me about. Apparently there are no clues that might be useful for escaping this place, but in the future it may be necessary to know about the enemy. It sure does, it sure does. So, let's look around. Oh, this is a completely circular room, okay. So, let's, let's start with this. Let's see, what's on this bookshelf? Madakuma's cute, meaty diary, volume one. What is this? <gasps> it's, oh my God, I got, I got hiccups now. Is this Madakuma's diary? Has that guy been keeping a diary this whole time? Greetings, I'm the Madakuma in charge of Madakuma. I'm the only one who looks good in a fresh <laughs> salmon jacket. Anyways, it's still pretty recent, but I've made a tremendous huge discovery, and I shall share it with you guys starting now. First, squat like you're sitting in an invisible chair and put your hands behind your thighs, then hold that position as you raise your thighs. If you keep raising higher and higher, don't you think you'd start floating higher and higher into the air? Isn't this amazing? Isn't this a revolutionary discovery that'll cause a reform in traffic laws? But I can't do it. I don't have thighs. Bummer. Looks like there are still several volumes to this diary, but what should I do? Is there stuff to read at every one? Oh, there goes the doll. There are we go. I knew serious? one was hiding in here. <laughs> I knew it. All right, so let's go. Okay, so I got another Monokuma doll, so let's go. Who should I spend time with today? You know what, let's just spend time with Nagato. Since he's here, might as well. Come on, man, I haven't Hello there. spent time with you since the first day. What are you welcoming me for? It's probably because you're staying at Grape House. For some reason, you seem like a guest. If I offended you at all, I apologize. No, there's no need to apologize. Oh yeah, while we're at it, I should let you know our room assignment. The deluxe room at the back, Toward the lounge area is my room. Across from that is Gunnan's room, Nakamaro's, okay. Yeah, we already know that. Of course, we're using the portrait Sonya drew and place the nameplates on our doors. So even if you don't remember, it'd be okay as long as you use that as a sign. I didn't know she drew portraits for the guys. For a princess, Sonya's very diligent. Drawing a portrait of a lowly human like me. Oh my Great. God. I might drown from such undeserved honor. Sonya's merciful heart might be ultimate level two. Even in this situation, he still acts like this. So can I spend time with him? Jeez. I understand the pain of having nothing it's to obvious. do, but this is just despair that we have to overcome. In the end, everyone's hope will shine bright. Should I even hang out with him when he's acting like this? Yeah. No, but I will be. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind, there's plenty of time today. I am so sorry for all of my hiccups, y'all. I spent time with Nagato today talking about various things. I, I guess we go a little closer, but I like to give him a present. Definitely, you gonna get a nice, Bottle of water, very plain. There you go. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me. I don't know if it's bad luck or good luck to receive this. I'm looking forward to finding out. To be honest, I don't even know why I thought about talking to him. <laughs> but I felt like the more I left him alone, the bigger my worries would start to grow. You have a scary look on your face. So you don't have to be so cautious, you know. I won't do anything. As he said that, he smiled at me. Why is this guy? No, th thinking about it is a waste of time. Are you thinking about doing something to me? That's wonderful, I'm totally up for it. I don't mind at all. Dude, I'm not gonna kill you, okay? D that's not gonna be me. Somebody else might do it, but it's not gonna be me. Don't mess with me. I'll never go along with your plans. That's a problem. I don't want you guys to lose sight of yourselves because you doubt and hate me. <laughs> I just wanna see you guys embody hope. There it is again. What, what in the world is this hope you keep talking about? What are you planning to make us do? Oh, why am I so misunderstood? I just wanna believe in hope, hey. you know? You should think about it seriously for once. What do you think hope is? He's right, I've never actually given it much thought. Hope, for him, hope is absolute good. <laughs> that's right, that's exactly it. And you guys have the potential to embody it. Do you understand? Hope is a positive force. Everything created by it is an absolute good. As that's long as obvious. the seeds of hope have been planted, I will gladly kill someone. 
one or be killed in return. The fact that I'm alive right now is already hope. It's no use. I definitely don't understand what he's talking about at all. But even so, all I can say is, it doesn't seem he's trying to trick or trap anyone for the sake of his selfish desires. That's why this is especially troubling. Hey. Huh? Are we done talking, Hajime? That's disappointing. But we can still talk anytime, See? right? After all, we're both friends who yearn for hope. Oh, well, we got his damn hope fragment. We spent our time with him for the day. There should be time for me to move around more freely. Okay, so... Oh, Chiaki, well, you're right here. So let's talk to you, girl. Sorry, I'm thinking about stuff. Let's play after we get out of here. Oh, so, oh, so I can't talk to her? Oh, I can't talk to her. Okay, all right, all right. You know what? This place is so confusing. I'm gonna just run, I'm gonna just spend time with whoever I run into. We must find a way to escape this place. Okay, so let's invite her to hang what? out. Hajime, let us search for clues once again. I spent time today searching for clues with Sonia. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer. Okay, so let's definitely give her a present. I'm just gonna give her water for right now and let it be. Thank you for your time. I shall gladly receive this. No problem. I must say, this island is truly a wonderful place. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Truly a perfect resort setting. That might be true, but... Oh, did I say something strange? No, I was just thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonia, are you really not worried about our current situation? Hi. Of course I'm worried. I'm also hungry. Angry. Jeez, this is not something to joke about. Who's who's I'm joking? Sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. My freaking... Uh, my my hiccups are not stopping, and I, I've tried everything. I'm drinking water. I'm holding my breath. I don't know what to do, so... However, what happens next depends on us. As long as we don't kill anyone, this will all be fine. That's the right attitude, but besides, I've come here to learn about your country. I would understand if this were my home homeland, but in this case, this land is foreign what? to me. I do not intend to kill anyone, and I do not intend to be killed easily either. The way she said that sounded a little dangerous. <laughs> if this were my homeland, so would this be okay in your country? <laughs> anyway, let us forget about killings and cooperate with one, o one another so we can return home quickly. If you have any good ideas, feel free to let me know. I shall also do my best to think of something too. Yeah, you're right. When I speak to Sonya, I somehow feel really positive and optimistic. Mm-hmm, such an honor. Raise your head. There is no need to worry. What she's saying sounds odd, but she certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. That reminds me, what was the name of your country? As I recall, the country's name was definitely this. Novoselic Kingdom. <laughs> it sounds as though you finally remember. Well, it's not a country I've ever heard of. Yes, that is understandable. It is often overlooked by card card cartographers. I'm sorry. Um. Our Novoselic Kingdom is an extremely small country and governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our economy is thriving. Thriving, so we are not in dire straits at all. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom and its people from its neighboring countries. Thanks to that, the people still have complete trust toward the royal family. Well? And also, wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialties. I see, it really does sound like a kingdom. So since you're the princess of that kingdom, does that mean that you live in a castle or yes. something? Of course, the royal family has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. Though it may be old and small, the castle is truly a wonderful historic building. Of course. Of course, it's easy to get lost in our subterranean labyrinth, and our barracks are fully equipped as well. So castles really do have those? Um, anyway, is it all right if I ask you something as well? I, if I can answer it, it's fine. Who do you have your heart set on initially, and who do you intend to switch to later? Huh? The situation is truly similar to the story of seven men and women. I believe it is a standard tactic to start wavering and swapping partners. Hold on, what are you talking about? Do you really have no idea? It's Japan's legendary drama. It starts off really upbeat, but then it gets really serious, and I never expected that to happen. I was all like, seriously, what is going to happen? I just could not take my eyes off the screen. My Momoko's feelings at the time were, my goodness, so intense. I continued to listen to Sonya extensively talk about Japanese dramas. At least now, I totally understand that she's a major J-drama fangirl. Oh, there we go, Hope Fragment. Hopefully, my freaking hiccups have stopped. There should be a time for me to move around more for- Damn, Sim! Oh, it's you. You've come at the perfect time. I need to enhance my drink bar. Give me a hand. All right, so let's hang out with Mehmaru. <laughs> I spent time with him helping develop new products for his drink bar by telling him sad and funny stories. Looks like Nekamaru and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give him a present? Definitely. Let's see. Ooh, let me see. Let me give him some. Let me give him that man's nut. Let me see what that man's nut is. There we go. Let's give him that. Let's see what that does. Oh, we can't give him that. It's what we in the dentistry like to call the key item. Oh, 
I wanted to give him the nut. All right. So I'll just give him the water. You must be quite skilled if you're more considerate than a team manager. Hmm. Nekamaru's staring at me and groaning. I don't know how to say it, but the way he's looking at me is making me extremely uncomfortable. What? Hajime, let me your body. Whoa, hey, wait! Nekamaru felt me all over my body before I quickly broke free. What the heck was going on? And just as I thought, I wasn't wrong. You would become an amazing athlete if you train yourself. Huh? You must have been born with good bone structure. We'll need to change your diet, bulk up your muscle mass. Wait, hold on, what are you talking about? You're calling me an athlete, but what are you talking about? I'm talking about you, obviously. I'm a manager, you know. It's my job to help athletes figure out what they want to become. I don't mind which athlete you want to become, but it's wrong for me to decide that for you. Whether or not he decides, he's treating me like an athlete for some reason, but it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Let's see, for example, how about that? Using your entire body to fight over a ball, a sport that is truly the manliest of men's sports. I don't really want to think about it, though. Nekamaru's probably thinking, talking about, uh, rugby. Is it rugby? You got it right! Bullseye! I? I know my sport. Rugby was originally a religious service in the Shinto religion. The men would fight over a bundle of rice plant ears in hopes of a rich harvest. It's a holy sport said to have originated when the first bead of sweet sweat fell onto the first rice seed by Spike Books. No way. I don't know anything about rugby, but I've never even seen a match in the first place. That doesn't matter at all. Your calm judgment skills, your high degree of mobility, and you obviously know the importance of teamwork. You may very well be a natural in a rugby field. Aren't you overestimating me a bit? Ha, huh, my eyes are never deceived, even if you might be. If you're ever interested, let me know. I'll take care of you anytime. Nekamaru walked away with a big smile on his face. Even if he compliments me, I don't think I'd be any good at rugby. Or do I really have that kind of natural ability? My heart is swayed. Is this the work of the ultimate team manager's scouting skill? Oh, it made him feel good a little bit. Okay. Huh, it's already 10 p.m. Just as I thought. I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or Monokuma announcements. It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. So, let's go back to bed. Oh, wait, shoot. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go back to bed then. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. Oh, I heard that. Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day. It's so jeez. If you have to do this, then it's all I can say is jeez. You should just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already. What do you want? My, my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? Well, I have good news for you guys. You all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at Grape Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How'd you expect us to wake up? That's your responsibility, so you figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Okay, then goodbye. Service with all your heart, huh? It's no use. My stomach feels so empty. I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. Or he or he might, so that y'all could kill. I pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pains, and went to sleep. <sighs> I started to feel this strange chill, but it obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather at Grape Tower by 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Anakuma, but I guess I should go for now. So, let's just go to Grape Tower. Oh, Akane, hello, girl. Akane, what are you doing here? Well, I've been thinking about the statue. I'm, it's not alive or anything, but it has a strong aura. I can't think of it as a regular human aura. This thing might be the most powerful creature on the island. Yes, that sure gets me going. Is this a person? The nameplate says ogre, so isn't this a statue of an ogre? Ogre or whatever, it's fine as long as it's strong. Oh, looks like it's almost time. I'll head over to Grape Tower first. Is she thinking about fighting the strongest creature on the island? I would love to see that fight. I would love to see Akane and Sakura get to it. I would love to see that. But Sakura's gone, so. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining, you're bringing me down. But I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning. This isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry House. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator and then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn. So obviously, we're more tired than you guys. Stop whining. You're fine. 
You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. You've got a lot of nerve coming here. Now that we all have gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? No, no. I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? Hey, hey. You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? I'm offering this service so that you all can feel healthy again. So, from this day forward, I'd like for you to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Monokuma Tai Chi? All right, start the music. What? <sighs> what? What are we doing? What are we doing here? Make optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. And of course, Akane and Nekomaru will be the only ones doing this. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Move as if you're drawing in This is so weird. Yeah. Oh my god. Just as you are. Your body and What is going on? This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? Don't dawdle. Oh, okay. Damn, I'll do it too. We sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Oh, fuck off. We did a bunch of pointless exercise thanks to you. And now we're hungrier than ever. I can't move. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardiness or absences. Make sure you remember that. That is you intend to keep making us do this? Guys, I don't think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. <laughs> Enough already. How much longer is it gonna last? Didn't he say until the killing starts? It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. I don't wanna die in a place like this. If I'm gonna die in a place like this, I might as well. What are you saying? Calm down. I can't fucking calm down. There's no food. There's no way to escape. This goes on. Everyone's gonna starve to death. Wait, are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? I got it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you saying? Fess up, you've been secretly getting your food from the Future Foundation buddies, haven't you? God, making a scene is just going to make us hungrier, so just, let's just calm down for now. You're right, even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. Wait to die from impending starvation, or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation, which is the true hope. I'll just follow what everyone else decides. If you're going to choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. Oh my God. The conversation ended there. It seemed nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing, so we silently left Grape Tower. God, I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I have to go see how everyone's doing. Lord, I'm getting hungry, man. God, God. All right, baby face. Hey, bastard. And Tai Chi, is he fucking serious? What should I do? Yeah, let's, let's hang out. Let's talk about it together. Let's talk about it together. I spent time with him? Okay. Okay, we go closer, so let's give him a present. Let's give him some water, because I don't have that many choices. You're giving that to Damn me? Right. I guess I'll take it off your hands for now. Hey, Fuhiko, how's that wound on your stomach huh? doing? It's fine, nothing to worry about. I thought you'd say that. You must have abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. Hmm. Just, I just have Yakuza blood flowing in my veins. There's nothing strong about that. You know, I did some thinking about this when I was in a hospital. Like, maybe this is all a dream. A dream? I'm sorry. Obviously, you'd be thinking about that more than I would. That's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up until now. And as long as I'm burdened with the Kuzuri name, I will always be dealing with a mountain of bodies. But you guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who live honest lives bumping each other off like this. This guy has always known violence and death. I see. He's used to it. Are you scared to talk to me? Huh? Jeez. There's no need to hide it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everyone. Hey. The world is a barbaric place, especially my world. Everyone I know tries to settle things with violence. You guys have different values than I do. <laughs> my old man likes to say, predators are always stronger than their prey. He's a hothead. Even if it's just a minor argument, he'll come at you with everything he's got. And when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. Being a Yakuza means you can even kill the man you love to get your point across. <laughs> 
I've been hearing stuff like that since before I was old enough to understand what's going on around me. That's a pretty outrageous home life. The worlds we both live in couldn't be more different. There were a few times where I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' fights. But whenever something like that happened, Pecco was always there by my side. Oh, Pecco. I'm sad that she's gone now. Aw, oh, sorry. I made you remember something painful. Huh? What? You don't need to apologize for that, you strange bastard. But still, I'm the rightful successor, successor of the Kuzuri clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. <laughs> By the time I was in second grade, I didn't cry even if I lost a fight. I see. Good hey, for you. Bastard. Good for me. Don't treat me like a kid. I don't really know what else to say to him. Anyway, it's not much, but I'm starting to get to know Fihiko a little better. Huh, he had a rough life. How should I put this? I'm going to stop suspecting you for now. I mean, it's a waste of energy anyway. All right, thank you, God. Man. Ugh. Okay, should we give him a present? Yes, we should. We're going through the same things over and over. Oh, you're gonna give me that? <laughs> it's like, whatever, but oh well, at least it's free. Man. Jeez, why aren't there any vehicles with engines on this damn island? At this rate, I'll take anything. A go-kart, RC toys, a baby carriage. Just let me tinker with something. Baby carriages don't have engines. Aww, man. There's nothing I can't disassemble. So I took apart the alarm clock inside my room. And when I did that, I couldn't put it back together. Oh, so there are times when even the ultimate mechanic can't fix something. <laughs> of course, that sort of thing happens to me all the time. One time I was tinkering around without thinking and before I realized it, I made some kind of car thing. <laughs> For some reason, the things I fix always end up being some kind of vehicle. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. I don't mind messing around with the frame or connecting the electrical equipment. But guys definitely need something with a rumble and some bam, bam, bam. Hey, Hajime, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I really want right now. Um, he's thinking about an engine? You're talking about an engine, right? Of course. That's right. That's exactly it. Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Doing that over and over gets my brain moving. <sighs> I really miss the smell of oil. You're right. I haven't really smelled anything like that since we came to this island. But even if we, there was a car here, you wouldn't drive it since you don't have a driver's license, how right? Annoying. There's no way I'd do something annoying like that. I'd just get motion sickness anyway. <laughs> I just really like the feeling of an engine running. I like all kinds of machines, but vehicles are definitely the best of the best. After all, they look so awesome. Man, I really want to go home soon and start working on my bike again. Oh, you're even making a bike, huh? Awesome. My dream machine is seriously awesome, you know? According to my calculations, it has a top speed of 585 Whoa. miles per hour. Man, I really miss tinkering with that thing. <laughs> oh, but it obviously wouldn't be street legal. And since I get motion sickness, I can't ride it anyway. What's the use of making a ride that you can't even use? I don't understand that at all. I think just to... Just to play, just to play with stuff. It's no use, I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, 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 hungry. If this keeps going, if this keeps going until I die, what am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously gonna go crazy. Exit, I need to find an exit. Where is it, where's the exit? Damn it, where the fuck is the exit? That's it, there's still that place. Nobody has gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game is just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right, that's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. But let's go, because we're trying to get out. We are losing our mind, <laughs> okay? Oh God, I can barely walk. I can't even, can't even go fast, really. So there's the final dead room. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's where the exit should be. I did it, I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can oh, finally get out. You can do that? It's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's not true, Chiaki. The exit's gonna be here. There's no exit. All that there is, is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want that weapon? Are you planning, what do you plan to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, mm -hmm. Hajime, okay? Oh, no, I wanted to see what was in there. Chiaki and I went back to Grape House together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starving to death and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it or? I, I, would, I would be losing my mind. This morning, I couldn't help feeling angry that I said what I said in front of everyone, but I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Sheesh. Uh, ooh, huh? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. 
Maybe I'm just confused. And as soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence towards everything began to overpower my body. He just didn't care, yo. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold, fiercely cold, as if the core of my body is getting numb. But I need to go to the Great Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Sheesh, just, just go to the freaking Monokuma thing. Don't even check the clock. It's already five minutes till 7 a.m. Huh. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone would get in trouble, not just me. And I don't have the energy to complain. Let's go to Great Tower. So let's leave. Hello. Oh, Hajime, good morning. Sonny, you seem energetic. <laughs> Why? What's so funny? Amazing. My goodness, Hajime, when did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? She's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Um, just the corner is fine. So may I take a bite out of you? You get a stomach ache. Oh my, now there's an adorable shortcake. Oh, she is getting delirious. She's getting delirious. Okay. What's wrong? I'm not a shortcake. I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you too. Are you about to head over to Great Tower? It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. All right, so let's go, man. Let's just let's just move, because Sonya's trying to eat my ass. <laughs> then I shall press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me is instantly open. It was very sudden. That's right, it's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. What? Who's dead? Yeah, no shit. Well then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Great. All right, y'all. So, last episode, we got Mechamaru. This episode, we lost Mechamaru. So, I'm kind of upset by that. We didn't even spend that much time with him at all. And now he's dead. So, if you guys did like the video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to Shin if you're new. I'll be back with another episode of Last of Us. And then I'm going to get down to who killed Mechamar. And I'm going to put a foot up their ass. So I'll see you guys later. And this.